Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Sismany, a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I merged a unicorn. It wasn't even that tough. I felt kind of bad afterwards, actually. And speaking of murder, that's what we're going to be doing today. Sue Tony Silent Assassin style, I need to break into a warlord's holder and poison him. Beautiful. But you know what? Let's start getting my mission journal a little bit neater, okay? I've got way too many missions outstanding. So, uh, yes, the Dark Brotherhood also asked me to go and deal with a renegade shadow scale, which is the most badass sounding thing in the world. So, uh, kill him, cut out his bloody heart, return it to my friends at the guild. Though I'm guessing, uh, yes, given apparently he betrayed his country or something, he's going to have a reason. And here we are down on the south coast, absolutely bloody beautiful. So, okay, we've been around this bit of the world before. Handful of trolls and whatnot, oblivion gates somewhere nearby. Don't worry about any of that. Just head straight to our destination over here, though, on the way. Pointless, stupid route that I keep picking up anyway for some reason. Right, buddy, me and you, I'm being pursued by something. Oh, it's just a troll. It's all absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about one random troll. Okay, hang on. Was that... Was that troll a special, like, king of the trolls or something? Because Azura Star suddenly got a grand soul in it, and... I'm sure I heard the soul being collected noise, but... Beyond that, there's... Okay, hang on. I think I might have just killed the king of the trolls. Hang on, come back here, randomly flailing corpse. Oh yeah, that was a special troll. That was an Asklan troll. I don't know what that is or what it means, but... Bloody hell, that's... That's Grand Soul right there. Okay, we're coming back to Harvest Jew Bastards. Oh, and check out this ballsy bastard who set up his camp on a hilltop that literally overlooks an Oblivion Gate. Amazing. So, okay, this guy may be a bit tough, but that's fine. We're going to chat to him. We're going to figure out why he decided to betray his government or something. I'm guessing he's got a very good reason for having done so. And weapons away. Hey, buddy. Well, he's not attacking me yet. And also, he's not wearing armor. Suggesting, yeah, if this does turn into a fight, it's not going to be a hard one. So, uh, all right, buddy. What's your deal? I guess I've been expecting you, assassin. Don't try to deny it. I can see it in your eyes. Your dark brotherhood through and through. Let me guess. It was Ochiva, right? No, wait. Uh, Tainava. Yes, he put you up to this, didn't he? Ochiva was always too busy to even be bothered. Well, you can kill me if you like. I'm afraid I won't make much of a challenge, though. The Argonian Royal Court already sent an agent to do the job. He failed, of course. His body's around here somewhere. But he got him a pretty good hit. If I don't get some rest, I'm probably dead anyway. So maybe I can appeal to your sense of goodwill, huh? <laughs> You let me live, and I'll tell you where I stashed my treasure. Is it a deal? Okay. Interesting. I mean, I would like to, you know, have a follow-up question such as, Hey, why precisely are you a Shadow Scale traitor? Like, what was the deal here, though? Okay, you know what? I am currently here on murderous guild business, meaning I am officially on the clock of being a bastard. I could get the location from him, and then just kill him anyway if I decide I want to. You show unexpected mercy. For that, I am thankful. My treasure is hidden in a hollowed out rock near my campfire. It's yours. Oh yes, I suppose Tainava wants proof that I'm dead, eh? Let me guess, my heart? I suggest you take the heart of the dead Argonian agent. His body is around here somewhere. Present the agent's heart to Tainava as proof, and he'll be none the wiser. Okay, so... I've officially got the information about the treasure, but... No, seriously, why are you a renegade? 
Nope, the lad just will not speak to me any further. So, uh, okay, hollowed out rock. There it is, right there. So, 200 gold. You're trying to bribe me with 200 gold. Okay, well, that's a bribe from somebody who doesn't want to be alive. Okay, that What's there, that on? is your own damn fault. And there we oh. go. You go down. That was just an insulting bribe. Right, there is his heart. Now, by any chance, yes, the Argonian agent he mentioned. Another bloody Oblivion Gate over there, too. There's bloody two of them right here. Okay, you know what? As I am literally right here next to an Oblivion Gate, I may as... Oh, bloody hell, what the cock is that? Okay, there's... There's a terrifying spider monster over there, and I don't like it, and it's got a lot of health, and I think it's... I think it may be summoning. It may pause. It's very fast. It's very fast. I don't like it. I don't like any of this. Where's my... Okay, I just summoned something. Where's the thing I just... Okay, my summon just failed. This is not the time to fail. I am currently being attacked by some form of a giant spider creature. Please don't do anything to the... Oh, what the cock is... Okay, there's... Giant spider monster. Oh, it's a giant booby spider monster. Okay, that's not as bad, to be honest, no. Like, it's still bad, but, like, not as bad. Comes with uh, silk, which is, ooh, chameleon. And uh, also comes with paralyze. Okay, now these things are, wait, hang on. Spider Daedra. I bought that spell, didn't I? I did, I forgot to just actually use it. So, okay, apparently I can summon my own booby spider. So that's nice. That's just... Okay, hang on. Are you actually the same... The same thing? Yep. It's a booby spider. And now I can just summon one for 20 seconds ago whenever I want. Well, that's going to help on those nice lonely evenings. Right. Into Oblivion we go. And today we have got... Which Oblivion gate is this? I think I've seen this one before. It strikes me as... a somewhat familiar so okay i imagine i'm supposed to walk around then up and diddly diddly dee but oh no 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 oblivious i'm being attacked aren't i okay yes yes i am so okay who wins a fight between boob spider and gator claw so boob spider go and boob spider is just you know currently buffing itself are you planning to no don't go over there to that one don't pick more fights and you plan to attack at some point. Okay, seriously, what's your deal? Okay, it does magic. So Gator Claw is physical damage, but also breeze fire. Well, that was bloody useless. That did nothing. That was completely cocking worthless. Okay, just keep them busy for a second. I'm just going to jump over the lava so they can't follow me. All right, but I'm not convinced you're doing that much good work in terms of damage or tanking. I'm not convinced. Right, activate Mega Boing. And just turn that on and then jump. And if we are very lucky. Oh, we just made it. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? You're going to walk straight into the lava then die, aren't you, you stupid idiots? Oh, no, that's badass. That's badass right there. And there we go, straight in, no trouble. Okay, I am enjoying having speed 120 by default before we get into the slightest bit of anything else. So, okay, base ring of fire shield, complete garbage, but that is good value right there, 700 value for... Sorry, are you a tiny, tiny boob spider? Are there tiny boob spiders as well? Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but sure. Okay, we've got you guys. Uh, top up my magic in case I need that for some reason. And there's a storm at Trinac. Don't mind me. I'm just here to collapse your reality. So just grab that. And hopefully we'll be a little bit luckier on this occasion. Drop straight down. So I check this one yet, by the way. I can't remember whether I did or not. I'm sure it's all going to be fine. Don't mind me. The boob spiders don't seem to hit that hard. And uh, yeah, since it's going like that... Out we go. Be flipping beautiful. Okay, and just around the corner, we've also got ourselves a tiny... Yeah, what looks like a ruined town on the edge of the sea. Right here. And, oh, this is definitely DLC. So, okay, this is like the secret evil villain lair, if that's your cup of tea. Underwater entrance. 
leading into... Okay, is going to need a hoover before we're ready to move in. It is not looking in great shape. Still, apparently this is the cloister. I enjoy conceptually having a cloister. That's just a badass sounding thing to have in the place you live. And this is my font of renewal. Only a vampire carrying purge blood salts may use the pond. Okay, not just for evil people. Like, full on evil people who have embraced vampirism and whatnot. Oh, blimey. Okay, um, down at the bottom, this is the, um, the shrine. Do we know what the shrine is to, precisely? Because this is, this is weird, but kind of cool. I'm not sure whether I ought to activate this, but screw it. Push the button. Need some stuff to do that. Ooh, nightshade. Okay, free source of poison. Lovely. Okay, I will say, secret emergency exit trap door. That's badass, yes, but I'm just not feeling it in general. It just feels like, you know, a pile of things connected to each other. It doesn't feel like a home, damn it. Also, I just realized I completely forgot to look at the uh, stone. So, okay, that's the fatigue one that's very bad. Uh, then there is, uh, okay, shock damage, 25 points. That's, that's a lot, actually. Yeah, my bow's only 18, so I would be willing to just do a straight-out trade to another glass bow when I find one, but using that enchantment, though the chargers. We'll need to keep an eye on, yes, how they compare in charge numbers, so... Okay, remember to do that next time somebody drops a glass bow. Okay, that there, that was the murder warm-up. You can tell I was still warming up because my initial instinct was to not kill the guy I was supposed to be killing, but okay... Now the real business. We need to sneak in and poison this guy. Ideally, without killing anybody. And we have been tipped off that, yes, there are some flooded tunnels we can use to get in from a nearby abbey. Now, Fort Such. That's near Anvil, isn't it? Yeah, that's Fort Such. We don't want to go in there, though. We want to potentially find a different way in nearby Old Abbey. And by any chance is... There we go. Trapdoor to Fort Such. Is this the Abbey? I'm not sure if this is the Abbey, but it might be, you know. Let's just nip inside and see what we've got. If we see, like, you know, tunnels uh, that we might need to swim through, then job done. And I've got the spell Buoyancy, so... I mean, okay, is this... Oh. Okay. Find the medicine. Replace it with poison medicine. That's fine. But remember, what we want to do is not be spotted. We want to not kill anybody officially. Oh yeah, not just killing. If anyone even sees me, it's game over. No bonus. And the bonuses are cool, unique items. So, okay. Scouting magic. There is no one anywhere near me. Good. Good, good, good. Aside from whoever that is. So, watch out for him. So, okay. Get around over here. A couple of underwater chests. Never gonna say no to that. Keep on with scouting magic. This is boosting mysticism, unfortunately. But what can you do? Okay, when you say flooded tunnels. That doesn't feel that flooded also. I feel like that guy is... There is someone right there, isn't there? Okay. It wasn't that much of a good way in, to be honest. No. How far do we need to get to get to... He is still a long way away, and I can't be detected at all. So then again, actually, if all I want is to not be detected, then, John, you know precisely what you need to do. One, scouting magic, keep that ready to go, and two, invisibility. Alright, what's the point of being a master alchemist if you can't occasionally be good at making the old invisibility potions? Can we make more, by the way? And that is, uh, oh yeah. Vampire dust. Oh, except, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can... Oh, hang on a minute. Is my alchemy now... Oh. I don't think it's 100 unadjusted, but... I think because my alchemy is now officially over 100, that's good enough to give me access to the master perk. Meaning, I can now make potions 
with only one ingredient. But okay, they're not very good. So maybe don't do it unless you really have to. For the time being, yeah, we've got some good invisibility potions ready to go here. Alright, scouting magic on. Oh, the moment I use scouting, that's going to break the invisibility, isn't it? Oh, I bet it is as well. Right, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, she's going down to... Oh, she's going down to the other tunnel. Okay, so we're past her. We're now in. May as well steal everything. Nobody said anything about not stealing everything. Then straight through here. Need a key. Well, that's a bit of an issue. So there's the main hall right there. But, hang on. The tunnel that she is in. Oh, I might need to do bloody pickpocketing now. So I'm going in this direction. Where are the rest of them? There's mysticism is going up and I don't want it to, dear oh flipping dear. Okay, hang on. Where's the... Where's the woman who was here gone? Okay, just keep this going on. More needs a key. Okay, I need to locate a key before I can bloody do much in this space. Because it is properly locked down behind hardcore security. Hang on. I think that might be her coming up right now. Are you about to face into that tunnel for a bit? Because if you are... Right, straight down after her. I need a key. Go, 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 go. And a key. Take it. Go. Go, 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 go. I am, it turns out, a bloody genius at being an assassin and a thief and all the rest of it. Okay, that gets me in here. Close the gate behind me. Guards are located down. They won't see me. Okay, so it looks like what I need to do is, yeah, keep going through this hall. He's still some way off. Just keep on this. I should be well hidden for now. Straight through. That's a person who's... Oh! Hang on. Is that... No, that is not him. That's not him, or if it is, that's not where his medicine is. So, okay. Go in this direction. Keep up with uh, the scouting. Make sure we are as we should be. This looks like it's going in the right sort of a direction. In fact, actually, now we're here. Everything would appear to be nice and peaceful. Nobody here. Ah, oh, flippin' dumb. Flippin' done. Nailed it. Okay, hang on. Where's his special poison? That's down the bottom in here, right? Yep, Roderick poison. I mean, they may notice, given it's a completely different colour. Hopefully not, though. And job done. This scouting spell has been an absolute flipping... Okay, slight issue. The guards are coming to check on Roderick. Okay, don't worry. This area is, yeah, big and beautiful and figure of 80. We can just use the scouting to keep an eye on them, figure out where they are, and work around them. It's going to be fine. Are you guys actually splitting up right now? Because I do not appreciate that. I don't appreciate that at all. So, okay. Wait, they're down there. I need to figure out which way they're going to go up. Are they looping all the way around the outside or turning in? They're turning in here. Yep, both turning in. Scouting spell has been an absolute flipping marvel. And now, just wait for them to pass by this entryway. And straight out. Boom. Done. Oh, and better and better. Is this the first time I've been back since they gave me the key to the back door? Oh, yeah. Straight in the well. Straight downstairs. No stupid basement passage for me. Beautiful. Also, that skeleton did not used to have a glass axe. They are upgrading him. Marvellous. Oh, by the way, I killed you like brother or whatever. Ha! Ah, yes. That is an Argonian heart. Of that I am sure. You have slain Scartail. Well done. Please, take these boots as payment for your services. They are called the Boots of Bloody Bounding and carry a powerful enchantment. I'm sure you will find them most useful. Okay, hang on. When you say Bounding, 
are they as good as the boots of Spring Heel Jack? Because, oh, why does it have to be boots? Why couldn't it be the pants of Bloody Bounding? That would have been better. Then I could have had them and the shoes on at the same time. Oh, well, that's just sad. It's Blade and Acrobatics 10 each. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No. Ah, so you infiltrated Fort Such, remained undetected, and replaced the medicine with the poison I provided. You are truly a master of shadow. It pleases me greatly to offer you this reward and a well-earned bonus. Go now, rest. I'll have another contract ready whenever you are. Hang on, what did she just give me? I think it's the Deceiver's Finery. So, uh, personality up by 10, speechcraft up by 10. Not for the most part going to be that useful, to be honest, no. Do you like parties? Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? Okay, so not just one person, an entire party of people. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Okay, I'm increasingly suspicious. We're not actually being paid by anybody to do these murders. We're just doing this for fun. Because I'm not sure who would be paying us to set up this elaborate party murder scenario. But okay, let's just go and do it anyway. Marvelous. Oh, lovely weather for some murder, but no. On the way, before we actually get to the murder, I had an idea. You see, the scouting spell, that's fine. It's all well and good, but, 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 but. Wouldn't it be better if we didn't have to repeatedly cast that all the bloody time? Also, wouldn't it be nice if I didn't break my legs every time I walked down the stairs? But that's the price you pay for being as fast as I am, I suppose. Just out of interest, if I was to take an ebony diamond ring and shove, yep, the grand soul we just picked up at random from the magic king of trolls, then I was to put detect life on this thing, then how good is it? Oh. Okay, that's why we don't do it that way. 20 feet for grand soul. That is truly terrible, actually. Okay, fine. I see why we do it the way we do it. So now I think about it, you know what? More magicka, for example, would be very useful. More speed to make sure I'm not being a hit in the first place. And indeed with Marksman at 73, it's gonna be a while before that's anywhere near 100. So boosting that by 10 points, that'd be good. Same idea potentially could come to, yes, my new gloves whenever I get them. Agility being boosted by 10 points right now, that's kind of bad, that's mostly useless. Especially as, yeah, best as I can tell, fortifying skill isn't something that gets generated by Oblivion. Oblivion can give me superior fortifying attributes, but fortify skill, that's all me. So, yep, 10 points to Marksman, not bad at all. Welcome to the team, mark my words. So yeah, with that in play, the bow should be hitting a good bit harder, which of course helps me not to get involved in melee in the first place. Brilliant. Okay, here we are back in Skingrad, so terrifying a five-person greed murder mystery tour. Oh yeah, let's go. So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. 
I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Okay, so when you say the key, that's... Oh, do I just own the house already? I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed. I kind of wanted to find the key for myself at the bare minimum, but sure, I suppose. The sixth guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devizi Dran, and Primo Antonius. Okay, don't let them know I'm an assassin. Yes, my baby is sick. We are so poor. I really need this house, actually. Oh, you poor dear. Well, this does make things difficult for me. I want to find the gold as much as anyone, but you need it so much more than I do. Okay, so straight away, that worked out pretty well for me, so... Alright, tell me about everybody else. Any information you could share? No, actually, before we do that, get her on side. Alright, just very quickly, make sure she is nice and chill and happy with me. Okay, she's maxed out at 80, so now, tell me everybody else's secrets. Personally, I think she's a little floozy. She's been eyeing young Primo Antonius, probably smells his wealth. Okay, so Dovesy, maybe a bit of a flirt. Nell's the naughty. Oh, that man disgusts me. I find his entire manner offensive. Why, just before you got here, he told me the most off-colour joke about an Argonian maid. And yes, what did poor Neville do to deserve not even having a surname? Well, if I can be perfectly honest with you, I find Neville quite attractive. Red guards are so exotic, don't you think? Okay, so she's into Neville. Not sure whether we can use that in some way. And yes, Primo Antonius, who may be wealthy, and who Dovesy's got her eye on. It's obvious that young Primo comes from wealth. A chest full of gold would be mere spending change for him. Okay, so a bit of information there, though. Yes, you. Tell me about yourself. That's right, it's a Breton name. I'll have you know the Petites are one of High Rock's oldest and most respected noble families. So, not too much, just a tiny bit of information about everyone and their relationships. Okay, and you know what? Because we're going to be speaking to a lot of people right now, I'm going to take my hood off so everyone's not pink and blubbly. Though keep scouting on, just in case I need to make sure that we are, yes, alone. And, in fact, yeah, you know what? One quick scout. Just make sure that there are five people in here with me. So, you. And then I see you right at the top over there. Okay. Four right here, and I think there might be an attic so where you so just went, right? Yes, that is uh, the living quarters, officially. So, okay, let's make sure we understand what's where before we start speaking to anybody. Down to the basement, look out for, yes, like obvious hidden doors or movable pillars or all the rest of it. And yeah, use these areas to my advantage. Lure one person down into the basement, one person up into the attic, etc, etc. So okay, let's start with uh, Matilda, because she seems a bit sweet on you. Matilda seems like an upstanding citizen of the Empire. She respects the law and recognizes the Legion as Tamriel's greatest defense against evil. Okay, she's also super into you, but you apparently don't know that. So, uh, okay. Keep on keeping on. The woman who, yes, Matilda thinks is a bit of a flirt. Ah, yes, Dovizi Dran. She's a dark elf originally from Morrowind or so I hear. I get the sense she doesn't like me very much. There may be a reason for that. I'm not familiar enough with Elder Scrolls history to know why, yes, a dark elf and a red guard might not like each other. Like, my understanding of the layout of Tamriel is uh, they're right on the far sides of the continent, so uh, they shouldn't really interact that much, but okay, for some reason she doesn't. Also, her name's not Dovesy, but I'm probably going to call her that anyway. So, uh, yes, Nels the Naughty. Nels is a Nord, 
and like all Nords, he's a lawless barbarian with no respect for authority. Okay, some of these people don't like each other. I mean, they said I can't be seen doing a murder, but in theory, if I was to maybe cause them to murder each other... I'm a red guard, though I've never actually been to Hammerfell. I was born here in Cyrodiil. My family has been in the Legion for three generations. Okay, so that's him and, uh, yeah, the rich guy. Primo's a blue blood, a noble through and through. He thinks he's better than most people, and in most cases, he's right. Okay, so we got a fair whack of information there, lovely. Let's go speak to Primo, because, yeah, why is a man who's already ludicrously rich potentially decided to do a luxury mystery to get what is to him a tiny amount of gold? It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Indeed, my father owns more property than the East Empire Company. Okay, so not just rich, like ludicrous dumb rich. So, okay, no particular explanation. What about Devisi, who seems to be into you? She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A little young, perhaps, and not exactly highborn, but she possesses a unique elegance. Okay, she might be in there, actually. Okay, and anything about the others I should know? I know he's a retired Imperial Legion officer. Apparently, he's been in campaigns all across the Empire, from Skyrim to Morrowind. I also get the sense that he's very eager to find the gold. I can't imagine his life of servitude to the Empire left him with much to retire on. Okay, no contradictions yet, and uh, I'm guessing you're not super into the drunken Nord telling naughty stories downstairs. Nels is a drunk. He doesn't even try to hide that fact. But what else is he? When the liquor is dried, what remains of the man? I think Nels drinks to forget, maybe about some tragedy in his life. He plays the buffoon, but I sense a deep sadness in him. Okay, that's interesting to know. And finally, yes, Matilda, who Neville seemed to respect quite a lot. Apparently, the poor old woman thinks she's from a well-to-do family. Truth is, I have servants with more nobility in their blood than her. Okay, you buddy are a dick, but I can't deny you're a dick with a good turn of phrase. Can I be honest with you, my friend? I find Dovisi captivating. She possesses a beauty beyond compare. Maybe you could do me a favor. If you speak with her, put in a good word for me, would you? I would be forever in your debt. Okay, so I got that option after persuading him up to maximum. So, yeah, if we get people on side, we unlock new options. Now, that does make me think, did I maybe miss something with Neville? Because I'm not sure I bothered to persuade him. Okay, so now he's maxed out disposition. What do we have from you, buddy? If I may be honest, I feel a bit sorry for the old woman. She comes from a noble family, I'm sure, but seems a lot less well-off than she should be. Okay, so, uh, yes, he doesn't reciprocate the affection. Instead, uh, there's just a bit of a sympathy. Dovizi is a dark elf. They call themselves Dunmer. When I was young, I spent some time stationed on Fort Moonmoth, on their homeland of Morrowind. I have great respect for the Dunmer people. They are strong and noble and generally understand the importance of law and discipline. Unfortunately, Davizi doesn't seem to like me very much, but I don't blame her. The young ones tend to have problems with authority figures. Okay, so it's not that she's got a problem with Redguard, she's got a problem with him specifically because he was Imperial and he was stationed in Morrowind. And nothing else much, aside from the fact he doesn't like Nels the Naughty, who nobody does, with the possible exception of Primo, who seems to see something in him, actually. Okay, speaking of which, Nels, old buddy, let's have a chat. Okay, that's him and maxed out too. Let's start on Primo, see if anybody has figured out why he's actually here. Primo is young and rich. I can sense a good, decent person in there somewhere. He just has to get his priorities straight. Okay, so these two kind of actually like each other. A tiny bit, at least. I will confide something in you, my friend. I despise Neville and all his Imperial Legion ilk. They are useless, uncaring tools of corruption. 
Three years ago, my village in Skyrim was attacked by bandits. We went to the nearby Imperial Legion outpost, but they refused to help us. My dear sweet daughter Olga was killed that day. She was murdered, and the Legion would do nothing to help her. Neville and his kind are scum. Okay, a lot of unhappy people who don't like the Legion present. Gotcha. Dovisi is the spitting image of my own daughter. Her skin is darker, of course, but that sweet face. My daughter was killed, you see, a few years back by bandits. I'm sorry. Please forgive a father's heavy heart. Okay, so the same story we heard before, and yes, Matilda, who definitely doesn't like you. <laughs> you should have seen the old biddy trying to talk to young Primo Antonius. She may be a noble, but he looked down on her like a scullery maid. Okay, so that's what we already knew, and no trouble there whatsoever. So, just a VC left in that case. Okay, that's her maxed out. Let's start with, yes, the guy you're into, Primo. Because he's kind of into you, too. It's pretty obvious that Primo comes from a wealthy family. He would never be interested in a girl like me, I'm afraid. And, okay, I potentially could at this point step in and start intervening one way or another. Let's leave it for now, though. Let's make sure we get everything else before we start taking care of that. Okay, over to everybody else. Honestly, I don't think she likes me. It's because I'm a Dunmer. I heard her say something to Neville, and it wasn't very nice. Okay, not uncommon in this universe, yes. There seems to be quite a bit of prejudice against Dark Elves from many people, unfortunately. So, Nels, do you like him? Because very few people do. If Nels finds the gold, maybe he'll want some company. And okay, we know the truth. She just reminds him of his dead daughter. I know he's a retired soldier, but not just a soldier. He was an officer in the Imperial Legion. I hate the Legion and everything it stands for. When those soldiers came to Morrowind, they persecuted my people and stole our lands. Neville may not be in the Legion anymore, but who knows what atrocities he committed. All right, so as I suspected, it's because of the Imperial Link, so... Okay, with the exception of uh, Primo Antonius, that seems to be mm. your oh, lot. Yes, we'll so I'd say again, probably step one is going to be... Yeah, down to the... Oh! Nels, on occasion, goes uh, to the basement. That's the first one I've seen him down there, so okay, I'm glad that we saw that. Because yes, otherwise uh, he would have walked straight into that guy's corpse had I decided to do it that way. And now everyone's starting to come up with, yes, follow-up bits and pieces. So, Matilda... Hello, dear. Listen, I've been thinking. Why don't we form a kind of alliance? If either one of us finds the chest of gold, we split it 50-50. With the two of us working together, we're sure to find the chest before anyone else. What do you say? Do you want to team up? Okay, we'll get back to that, but I'm guessing there's going to be a benefit to it. Maybe, yeah. I can say, oh, I found the chest, it's upstairs in this room, why don't you go there and then I definitely won't stab you in the back. Okay, step one, Devisi. Let's make sure she knows the guy's into her. Not sure what that'll do, but let's just see where it takes us. What if I tell you he is super into you? He? He did? Oh my goodness, what should I do? Should I talk to him? Or maybe play hard to get? Or should I, you know... Or would that be too forward? Oh no, you should definitely, you know. All right, that, that, that's going to be the good stuff though. Oh. Go to his room, wait from there. But his room is, yeah, already got him in it. So in which case, maybe I need to, yeah, get rid of him before there. Get her into... That room, that's where I can assassinate her, but okay, let's see what room we're talking about. Oh, you think so? I mean, it is rather forward, but I like it. All right, then. I'll wait for him in his room upstairs. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, 
Up she goes, and we might be starting to get into, uh, yes, murder timer here. So maybe, yes, just get my giant sword ready to go. Now, does that mean, yes, given he is alive and there, they're just going to end up, uh, doing it, potentially, and... Hang on, where's... Where's he gone? I'm going to be honest, I'm not... Not 100% sure where he's got himself to, and... No, I just, I just told you to wait for him. This is really, really bad waiting for somebody naked in bed, okay? You're doing this so badly. Oh, I think everybody's decided to, um, have dinner right now, which is not what I was expecting. But okay, hang on, what time is it? It's, I think it's just dinner time. So therefore, oh, hang on a minute. They're eating, which means, uh, yes, in this game, uh, characters uh, have to eat. And if they can at least, they will eat whatever's available, meaning that's what those poisoned apples are for back in the, uh, the guild. So that's a bit late to get them now. You know, we're already locked inside the house for the time being. So, okay. Interesting, though. Nels is missing. He isn't joining the others for some reason. Nothing new for him or him. So, okay, we might need to wait for dinner to be over for the seduction to occur. Okay, they are going to go to sleep. There is a day period and a night period. So now everybody's going to go to bed. And if they all go into different rooms... Okay, night, the sleeping period, that might be the best bet. Because, uh, well, for some reason, you're now downstairs when everybody else was upstairs. Oh, is that your strategy? Just sleep in the day, then wait for everybody else to go to bed so you can explore alone at night. So, now's the naughty ghost bed in this bedroom and appears to be alone. Okay. This is the moment. We're doing it a... You're just standing in there. Okay. This is fine. For some reason, you're just you standing on a lot. chair, which is a-okay, nice but... This is where we start, okay? This is gonna be the first kill. It's Nels. In this room, which I've not seen anybody else go into. So, okay. Weapons out, let's flip and go. I really hope, by the way, that, like, this is good enough to kill him. Because if it's not, that's gonna be... Are we good? Okay, maybe, 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 just... Drag him a little bit over here, away from the door, just in case the door gets opened or anything. Right, number one is dead, and I've not seen it. Anybody else come in this room? So, okay, there's Nels the Naughty. Extra 10 gold, sword away. Lovely. So, okay, who knows where Nels ended up? I just haven't seen him for bloody ages. Then, you're in this room too. I really hope she's not about to go into that room. Because that would be really unfortunate. You were supposed to be seducing this guy in here. Okay? You are doing a terrible job seducing him. Now at this point, okay. With Nels out the way, that means uh, tomorrow morning, Neville will be alone in the basement. So, uh, I think that's what we do now. Now, uh, we wait until the morning shift. Because, uh, yeah, Neville will be completely isolated. Okay, 10 a.m. And, oh. I think possibly you're now isolated. Right, you go down. Lovely. Just help myself to all this too. Very nice. Hopefully no one else comes in here. Okay. Two people dead upstairs, a sort of way. No sign whatsoever. Of the guy who enjoys being in here. Primo. Don't know what's going on with him. But he's just not here for the time being. Next up. Neville. No. No, no, no. You're supposed to go to the basement. You live in the basement. It's the one thing you do. Okay. I need you to go to the bloody... Now he's just walking in a circle. Bloody hell, everyone's Bethesda. And you're just here. Two of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer, but... Uh-oh. How did you know that? Dear friend, have you heard? Two of the guests now lie dead. If I find out who did it, I may have to take matters into my own hands. 
Who? Who among us is vile enough to take the life of such a beautiful, precious creature? If I find out who did this, they will pay with their life! Okay, so when people die, they know, even if they're hidden in the bedrooms. Got it. So, what if I persuade them it was Neville? Well, Neville is a trained soldier. He was in the Imperial Legion for 20 years or so, I've heard. He certainly knows how to kill. Still, I don't think he's the murderer. No, quite the contrary. I think he takes the murders personally. Feels he should have protected the victims. Okay, so he's not falling for that at the bare minimum. So, everybody is now in this room right here. And yes indeed, Neville is okay, that's why they're all hanging out together. We're being stalked like animals in the forest. I'm still not sure if the killer is one of the other guests or is hiding somewhere in the house. One thing I do know is that the killer won't just stop with two. They never do. You and I, we need to watch each other's backs. I've got my old Legion armor and sword in a chest upstairs. It's time I geared up and showed this coward just who he's dealing with. Oh, when you say geared up and chest upstairs, where? Because I swear I've already robbed all the chests and I did not see anything. Okay, next up, Matilda is... Oh, Matilda's running around in a panic and... Uh, okay, here we go. Here comes the armor that he was talking about, and he seems to be struggling with the, the chest there. There we go. He's, oh, blimey. He's going to be much harder to kill now. Oh, I maybe should have taken him out first, given he was the best fighter and whatnot. One less dark elf in the world. And now there's one less person to find the gold as well. It's a good day, don't you think? Okay, Matilda may be a bit of a bastard. So, Nels is dead. I don't condone murder, of course, but I can't say he'll be missed. As a rule, I find Nords rather... vulgar. No, she is 100% behind me in all the murders so far. Do... do you think he could have done it? I mean, he... he is a retired soldier. He's killed before. Oh dear, this can't be happening. Okay, so suspicion is starting to fall on Neville... A little bit. From a her, though, Primo doesn't believe it. If I may confide in you, dear friend, I'm very worried about the poor boy. The trauma of murders, it could scar him for life. He deserves better. Okay, not one of those was the emotional reaction I was expecting. And I'm guessing okay. So now, like he was saying, those two are going to stick together. Which would suggest if Primo dies next, then they're going to know it was me. Because those two are now sticking together all the time. So the only thing I can do at this point is Matilda. She dies next. And she dies at night. Okay, so right, back into the night shift. And then, hopefully, she'll get her own bedroom. And there we go. So, he takes his armor off when he goes to bed. And she just stands there watching him. Okay, that's... That's bloody weird. That's, that's really bloody weird, actually. So, one of these two needs to be the next to die. Problem is... How do I separate these two? Okay, but what if I just push her a bit until she's not in the same room? Not suspicious. Not suspicious in the slightest. Okay, don't, don't mind me. Just very carefully pushing you out into the corridor. This bedroom would do nicely, actually. There we go. Suit only, silent assassin. Just pop you over here. Close the door. Don't bother looking at me. It's all absolutely fine. And boom. Job. Uh-oh. Was it me? Definitely not me. It could have been anybody. Okay, Neville. I didn't want to say this, all right? I don't want to be a snitch, but I just saw Primo murder Matilda. It was... It was horrible. He just wouldn't stop Man. stabbing her. Listen, I've searched every inch of this house. It's sealed up tight. There's no way in or out, and there's nobody hiding any place. 
That means the killer has been inside with us all along. You and I aren't murderers. So that leaves one person. We must prepare to defend ourselves. Okay, I do not know how you have come to the conclusion I am not a murderer, when I am one of only two people, the other being you, who is armed right now. I have got a giant sword on me, and all the people have been killed by sword. You are a terrible, terrible crime scene investigator. Matilde's murder saddens me, friend. But not for the reason you may think. Ten years ago, when I was in my prime, this never would have happened. But now I'm old, and my instincts have failed. I let that woman down. Okay, so in which case, yes. Given you know I'm not the murderer, somehow, how about you go and take out Primo? He is asleep right now. You could do it no problem at all, because it was definitely him. It's all starting to make sense now. Primo didn't need the money. He has more than any of us. Enough, in fact, to give away an entire chest of gold. That rich little bastard lured us all here by appealing to our greed. Don't you see? He considers us all low class and he wants us exterminated. That high-born little worm won't get away with this. He'll pay with his life. Come on, you watch my back. I'm going to take Primo down. That's right. You're completely right. It's basically the purge, but in Cyrodiil. Go, Neville. You got this. So he's just going in and... Oh, blimey. He just flipping spelled him to death in one hit. You and I are the only ones left. But we did it. We survived. We, we won. Oh, Neville. You magnificent bastard. I'm so sorry. But you have got the wrong end of the stick, buddy. And now... Now I just need to wait for him to go to bed. Because, yeah, right now, he's probably too well armoured to you actually take down in one hit. Well, that's that. The killer is dead, and this nightmare is just about over. All we have to do now is find a way out of here. So, as I say, I think now... Hang on, why are you in bed right now? It's like three in the morning, buddy. You should definitely just go to bed. Okay. Check the actual rules here. So every guest killed secretly without witnesses. If I attack him but he doesn't die in one hit, does that count? Because can you be a witness to your own murder? I don't know. Okay, let's accelerate time. See if we can get him to go to bed tomorrow night. So we've been in here like three days at this point. Nope, he's not doing it. So we're just going to have to, yeah, hit him with what we can and hope it doesn't matter that he witnesses his own death if potentially I can't get him in one hit. And go! I just missed him because you now he won't stop moving. Okay, just, just, just go past and go! That was actually a really good hit right to the sides of the head. Right there. That was an excellent head bonk. So... There we go. He has been taken care of. Neville, I am so, so sorry. I was a very, very bad friend to you. Okay, now that was fun. And I'm guessing there are 10 million other ways you can make that go and encourage one person to kill another. Okay, that was a really fun little mission. All right, folks, job done and... Seriously, every time I come back here, this skeleton has got a new set of weapons. Can we just pick one thing and stick with it? Anyway, not only is the job done, I persuaded one victim to take out one of the others, which was just hilarious. Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets. Ah, one slight unfortunate thing, though. Those don't count towards leveling up, even though they would have been uh, rather useful in terms of, uh, yes, in particular, moving agility in the right direction by giving me sneak, security, and marksman all up by two, so six overall. That would have been really useful, actually. Still, there it is. Night Mother's Blessing at two in all sorts of bits and pieces. I love it. Greetings once more, Assassin. When you're ready, I have a most important contract. One that has been sanctioned by the Black Hand itself. 
I have no idea what the Black Hand is, but sure, tell me more. Adamus Philida has spent his entire career investigating the Dark Brotherhood, interrupting our contracts, killing our family members. We tried to eliminate Philida, of course, but failed on three separate occasions. He's a powerful man and was surrounded by powerful associates. Now the Legion Pig's years of service have come to an end. He has retired. Philida must not be allowed such a victory. His destiny is... darker. Philida now resides in Leowin, in the City Watch barracks, an honored guest of the soldiers there. He is in fact more vulnerable than ever. Okay, so... surrounded by soldiers, but... I can't remember what the Leowin barracks looks like. I may or may not have been in there already, so... Okay, what's the bonus objective? The Black Hand has sanctioned the Rose of Sithis. It is a magic arrow, specifically enchanted to kill its target. In this case, Philida. As long as the arrow hits Philida, he will die. But it cannot pierce armor. Shoot while Philida is armored, and the Rose will be wasted. Travel to Leowin. Track Philida. Learn his schedule. Observe when he removes that blasted legion armor. And then, let fly the Rose of Sithis. Kill Philida in any way, Rose or not, and the contract is complete. But to receive a bonus, you must go beyond murder. You must send a message. Once Philida is dead, Take the very finger from his corpse, the one that bears an Imperial Legion signet ring. Deposit this finger in the desk of Philida's successor, in his office in the prison barracks in the Imperial City. Do this, and the bonus is yours. Okay, that is one a hell of a message to send. So, two targets down, I would say that is more than enough for now, but next time... We're back here in Leowin, and, uh, okay, we will get to murdering that guy, because, uh, yes, basically, trying to figure out when he is uh, nice and naked, that sounds like a good time to me. But, there's also a few bits and pieces I didn't get round to in Leowin last time I was here. In particular, the rather intriguing sounding, whom gods annoy. So, uh, strange noises are coming out of somebody's house, and if I had to bet money, it's going to be someone's basement. And you know how much I enjoy a creepy murder basement. So, okay, we are going to go and investigate Rosentia's house. See what's going on there. And uh, yes, depending on how that goes, uh, we might as well just get round to murdering this guy at the same time. So, mystery and murder coming up next time. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves. I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out. Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.